Francis I was six foot five. The tallest ruler that France, a nation of small men, has ever had. Tall and virile, Francis succumbed easily to temptation. They say women like a man with a big nose, and they certainly liked Francis I. This is the bedroom of his chief mistress, Anne de Pisseleur, the Duchesse de Tarp. At least, it used to be before they put in this big staircase here. So you have to imagine the room without it. It's a floor to ceiling nude fest in here. Everywhere you look, stucco nudes, painted nudes, carved nudes. This time, it wasn't Rosso Fiorentino who designed the love room of the Duchess de Tampes, but another Italian artist brought over specially, Francesco Primaticcio from Bologna. Primaticcio's speciality, as you can see, was these beautifully elongated, mannerist nudes. They look like they've been made in a sweet shop, don't they? Out of white, white marzipan. <coughs> If you've ever wondered why French art is obsessed with marzipan nudes, with tiny heads and too many vertebrae, the artist to blame is Primaticcio. He was so influential. The sneaky thing about this room, the thing that makes it so mannerist, is that all this, the whole thing, is basically one big allegory. The frescoes are supposed to be telling us the story of Alexander the Great, but that's just a big disguise. They're actually about Francis I pretending to be Alexander the Great. Alexander was, of course, a great general and leader of men, but that was in the world of politics. In the world of romance, he was also a famous cocksmith. And that's the Alexander Francis is trying to emulate. Alexander, the famous lover. So this scene here shows Alexander, alias Francis I in disguise, with Thalestris, queen of the Amazons. Thalestris wanted to start a dynasty of strong Amazon women who better to father them than Alexander the Great? Alexander liked the idea so much, he slept with Thalestris for 13 nights in a row. And that's the kind of man Francis I imagined himself to be. God's royal gift to beautiful women. 